today the Lord's vision comes to you as the Lord was making small white linen bright fine garments like the one Hannah was making for Samuel every year for his priesthood and the Lord said these are the little garments fine bright linen garments I make for my bride and the, the real majestic one beyond that day when we meet with him but he makes this that he may clothe us in our inside with fight, fine bright white linen garments and that will change our uncleanness and what happens is every compartment in our heart becomes transparent, translucent and we'll speak to each other and we will see different compartments of our heart. Otherwise we sometimes one part of our heart does not know what the other part is doing and there are contradictions. These are being removed in this time. The Lord's nature is being clothed to us in the inside and we are becoming like the Lord. And yesterday at 4 p.m. came the heavenly dove and there was a wooing and cooing and the love of the dove and the drawing of the heavenly dove, his gentleness, his meekness, his love, his nearness came to our spirit and we really understood how the Lord Jesus Christ is the parakletos, the heavenly dove, working in us in this season. So every uh, every hour that we spend with him, more of his character is being ingrained in us and the Lord is able to project that the power of that character in our prayers and he's keeping us like Benjamin between his shoulder blades and our prayers are going as powerful arrow shot by the tribe of Benjamin into the heart of people who need that change as we intercede for them. This is why the beloved's prayers are having effect and he's making us his beloved more and more so prayer will have its effect even about those who are planning evil against us making weapons against us by the blood of Jesus Christ we disarm them those weapons are making them angry those weapons are making them ferocious conspiracies anger betrayal planning to put other people into trouble all that is removed as we pray so Jeremiah 31 gives a hope of restoration for people and the nation uh, the people who survived the sword Jeremiah 31 found grace in the wilderness Israel when it went to find its rest we took up this uh, theme on Sunday how his cup overcomes the sword we overcome with the cup I will build you and you will be rebuilt the Lord promises you will plant vineyards and the economic turn uh, recovery turn around is being prophesied and the Lord is promising that he will bring uh, with weeping they will come and by supplication I will lead them 31 9 Jeremiah I will make them walk by streams of waters on a straight path in which they will not stumble for I am a father to Israel so we are saying be a father to Sri Lanka also Lord and Ephraim is my firstborn make Sri Lanka your secondborn these are our prayers for our nation and it's it's a prayer it's it's a hope of restoration for the Lord has ransomed Jacob and redeemed him from the hand of him who was stronger than he may the Lord do that for his own people in the nation redeem his people and make them the focus and the strength of blessing center of blessing and here is the economic recovery 31 12 Jeremiah and they will be radiant over the bounty of the Lord so God's people lead the recovery they will come and shout for joy they will be radiant over the bounty of the Lord Jeremiah 31 12 they carry the radiance of the Lord with the Lord's bounty over grain new wine oil and the young of the flock and every kind of economic recovery <coughs> praise the Lord and this is the promise of the Lord and the Lord promises restrain your voice from weeping because your work will be rewarded throughout the whole chapter it's all about recovery restoration how the lord is turning back the fortunes of a nation thank you lord for doing this for us uh, verse 21 set up yourself road marks place for yourself guideposts direct your mind to the highway the way by which you went and return 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 and the lord is adding prosperity bless the lord O oh my soul may you be blessed read whole of Jeremiah 31 as a psalm of rest as a prophecy of uh, restoration for yourself God's people and the nation God bless you